Welcome to Thoroughbred Action at Gulfstream Park West. I'm Katie Stazak. What a fun day yesterday was on Millions Preview Day here. We're going to wrap up our race week with one last 10 race program. We have a carryover in the Rainbow Six. It is continuing to grow, and I'm looking forward to seeing how big it gets by the time the fifth race rolls along. You don't want to miss a single second of today's program. Let's get right to the track and weather conditions. The main track is fast and the turf course is firm. The first race on Sunday's program is a $12,500 maiden claimer. Three-year-olds and up will be sprinting five furlongs on the turf course. Scratch the two, Rapid Lightning. They're up. From the center, Kirky's Dream begins nicely. Gunnery comes away racing in second. From the inside, Executive Mandate now third. It's My Valentino fourth. Little Kama racing up on the outside to be fifth. About five lengths off the lead. From between horses, Starchy let to know. It's a length and a half back to CP Warrior, who's two in front of Batting Cage, and the trailer is burning wild. They make their way to the far turn, and on top, the leader is Kirky's Dream just narrowly. Gunnery right alongside second. It's My Valentino and Little Kama third and fourth. Executive Mandate rides the rail now. Two in front of Starchy. Archie Letano then comes Burning Wild getting by CP Warrior and Batting Cage is the trailer. They come past the quarter pole and turn for home. Gunnery up for a short lead. Kirky's Dream fights on toward the inside. These two three better than Executive Mandate with a furlong left to go. Toward the inside it's Kirky's Dream. Toward the outside it's Gunnery. Up the rail and Burning Wild is coming on. In deep stretch Kirky's Dream. Gunnery surging on the outside. Gunnery at Kirky's Dream. Gurky's Dream. Gunnery. It's Gunnery. In front. Kirky's Dream second from Burning Wild third. Gunnery gets up to take the first race. Tyler Gaffleyung was the winning rider for owner and trainer Fergus Bogle. Gunnery, a four-year-old gelding by the Wildcat, gets his maiden-breaking victory today and returns $17 for the win. Today's second race is a $6,250 claiming event. Three-year-olds and up, which have not won three races or three-year-olds, will be going a mile on the main track. No scratches or jockey changes to report. A field of seven will go to the post. They're up. Creative quality was a step slow. From the center, Forged wins the break. Toward the inside, the Sundrop Kid moves up the challenge while trying to get off the fence for Goodell. Racing up on the outside, Manny Blue Boy is now third. Wattest of all through the initial stages is Miles Moore in front of Zoombox second last, and the early trailer is no Cal Satines. So the leader is Forged. He has the lead by a length and a half. Creative quality sneaks through on the inside. Off the fence now is the Sundrop Kid, a joint second. Miles Moore is four wide, but only two lengths off the lead, followed by Zoombox, a length better than Manny Blue Boy, on hold second last, and the trailer is no Cal Satinas. They went a quarter in 24 and 2. Down the back stretch they go. It's Forged, loose up top with the two length lead. The Sundrop Kid trying to keep that same spot from second, but now here's Zoombox moving up to be third. In the clear, Manny Blue Boy picks it up to be fourth past the half mile in front of miles more than creative quality and the trailer no calcetina so they take it to the far turn 48 and 2 for a half mile they leave the back stretch and move on to the far turn forged leads narrowly the sun drop kid is out after him second three wide zoom box is still in the hunt from third it's a stretch of four to the inside manny blue boy tries to run on from fourth five in front of miles more and they race to the top of the stretch they're at the quarter pole and they turn for home the sun drop kid and vicente gudel off the top of the turn on a two-length lead. Zoombox trying to get after him second from the outside. Manny Blue Boy is third with three sixteenths to go. Goodell trying to get one more furlong out of the Sundrop Kid, and he's got a two-and-a-half length lead. Zoombox just not making up the needed ground toward the outside, and Manny Blue Boy to the wire. The Sundrop Kid will win it. It's the Sundrop Kid to win it by two-and-a-half in the end. Zoombox holds second over Manny Blue Boy third, and Miles Moore finish fourth. The Sundrop Kid kicks clear to take the second race. Vicente Guriel was the winning rider for trainer Kathleen O'Connell and owner's JRS Racing Stable LLC. The Sundrop Kid paid $6.20 to win. Shaman goes down the outside. Shaman goes chasing Danish Dynaformer. Danish Dynaformer. Shaman Ghost. And Shaman Ghost takes the Queen's Plate. A link. And taking the 156th running of the Queen's Plate is Shaman Ghost, beautifully bred by Ghost Zapper. Classic Bloodlines, Classic Sire, Ghost Zapper, standing at Adina Springs. 
On to the third race now. This is an allowance. Phillies and mares three year olds and up will be sprinting five furlongs on the turf course. A field of eight are lined up. They're off. From the inside, April Rose. From the outside, Smoke Signals. Widest of all, Meet Me for a Smoke. And Standard Deal is up the inside. Balladini comes away racing in fifth between horses about three off the lead. She's a length and a half in front of little Daniela. Then to the inside, Thinking of Mom and Don't Blame Me is last of all as they speed past the half mile and run to the far turn. It's Smoke Signals in front, three parts of a length. Meet Me for a Smoke on the outside is second. Standard Deal is now third. Moving up on the outside is Belladini. Splitting horses sharply there while in tight is little Daniela. She'll either have to get out or muscle through, and she looks like she'll muscle through. Don't blame me is on the outside, and they run to the top of the stretch. Smoke signals with the lead. Belladini is three wide from between them. Meet me for a smoke. From the outside and running on is Little Daniela. Standard deals up the inside lane through the final furlong. With the lead, it's smoke signals. Gamely hanging on toward the outside. Meet me for a smoke. Widest of all, Belladini thinking of mom coming up the inside. A complete cavalry charge to the finish, and it's inside the thinking of mom who got up to win it in 57 and Thinking of Mom rallies on the inside to take the third race. Edgar Zayas was aboard for trainer Eddie Pleasa Jr. and owner Richard D. Scheibel. Thinking of Mom paid $9.40 to win. On to the fourth race now, a $10,000 maiden claimer. Phillies and Mares three-year-olds and up will be sprinting six furlongs on the main track. Set. And they're off. From the inside, the favorite platonic love wins the break. Transcendent faith and one at a time sunshine are showing speed. These three across the track in the early stages. Racing in fourth is close connection, about four lengths off the lead in front of Moonlight Time. Uh, Prana's near the back half of the field with me Rhapsody on her outside. Down the back stretch they go. Platonic Love has a head in front. Transcendent Faith takes it to her at the half mile pole after an opening quarter in 22 and 4. One at a time, Sunshine is now racing on third. Three better than close connection with Moonlight Time next. Me Rhapsody second last, and Aprana is last with three furlongs left to go. Toward the inside, it's Platonic Love. Toward the outside, it's Transcendent Faith. They've been at each other since they sprung it. They're 5 sixteenths from home and three lengths better than a rallying Moonlight Time. Then to the inside, close connection is in tight with a quarter of a mile left to go. Transcendent Faith on the outside. Zayas gets serious on the inside and tries to battle on with the race time favorite Platonic Love. It's three more to Moonlight Time third with an eighth of a mile to go. Transcendent Faith on the outside. Platonic Love on the inside. Moonlight Time is third. Inside the final furlong. On the inside, Platonic Love finding plenty. Back to second is Transcendent Faith. Moonlight Time is third. But the favorite's a winner. Platonic Love wins it by two and a half. Give Moonlight Time second over Transcendent Faith third. One at a time, Sunshine fourth and close connection completes your high five in 113 and four. Platonic Love is a comfortable winner of the fourth race. Edgar Zayas notches back-to-back -back wins on the card. This one is for trainer Gustavo Delgado and owners PD Horse Stables LLC. Platonic Love returned $3.40 to win. Today's fifth race is a $10,000 claimer. Three-year-olds and up will be going a mile on the turf course. Scratch the eight, the 13, and the 14. And Vera. From the inside, Majestic Jess begins nicely. From the outside, Dreaming of Clarice is sent hard to go after the lead early. From third, that's Yari, who's away and racing about two lengths off the lead. Bonacord is out sprinted in the early stages, fourth in front of Gifted Ruler and Whisper on the Wind. Air Squadron between horses. Then it's Poco Man, and the three at the back are Lover's Key, Cactus Kid, and Cat and Fiddle. They race around the first turn and dreaming of Clarice and Paco Lopez have throttled open to lead it by two now from Majestic Jess who's tightening in second. Yari is third with an inside lane. Bonacord is tugging. He's now only a length and a half off the front. Followed by Whisper on the win and Gifted Ruler. Air Squadron in between horses. Poco Man is out wide. Cat and Fiddle follows them and neck better than an outside running Cactus Kid and Lover's Key is the trailer and they drilled a quarter in 22 and 4. They went a half mile in 47 and 2 and Majestic Jess just got a crack of the 
stick from Boca Chica to try to get after Dreaming of Clarice. Meanwhile, Bonacord moves up on the outside to take second. Yari is back fourth. Then it's Air Squadron and Whisper on the win. Cactus Kid starts to kickstart a rally. He's also under pressure in front of Poco Man. It's a stretch of two and a half lengths back to Cat and Fiddle, then Gifted Ruler with a quarter of a mile left to go. Here's Yari to take a crack at Bonacord off the top of the turn. It's Bonacord with a narrow lead. Yari to the attack now and coming after the leader. Cactus Kid is third toward the outside in Poco Man through the final furlong. Yari now has the lead. Poco Man is getting on track late. So is Cactus Kid. Gifted Ruler up the inside. Yari's almost home. Poco Man is surging at the leader. Here's Poco Man on the outside at Yari. Poco Man is in time. Yari run down late second with Cactus Kid third and 137 and four. Poco Man gets up in time to take the fifth race. Edgar Zayas notches his third victory in a row on today's card. The winning trainer Antonio Sano, the winning owners Guarneri Stables Inc. Poco Man paid $16.80 to win. There's a new day dawning in Florida. Never before has a Breeders' Cup Classic winner retired to stud in the Sunshine State. Until now. Adina Springs presents three-time grade one winner and earner of over $4 million, Fort Larned. New to Adina Springs South. Let's get to the sixth race, a $6,250 claimer. Phillies and mares, three-year-olds and up, will be going a mile on the main track. No scratches or jockey changes to report. Eight will go to the post. And they're up. Princess Malia was a step slow. Ill-considered from the center begins nicely. Up on the outside, Divining is showing speed. Down to the inside, it's distinctly sweet. And Starship Lisa comes away in the top flight. Wide on the course is Princess Malia alongside Golden Empress. Racing up the rail is Lyle's Angel. Then it's four lengths to the trailer, Fee and Sugar. They run around the first turn, ill-considered, leads narrowly. Divining on the outside now takes it to her second, tucking in third, distinctly sweet. Princess Malia is a joint fourth. To her inside, races Starship Lisa with Golden Empress between horses. Stretch of four lengths to the Gray Lyles Angel and another four to Fee and Sugar. They went a quarter in 24 and one. Down the back stretch they go. On the outside, Divining and McIntosh take the lead a half a length. Ill-considered is second toward the outside. Starship Lisa is now a joint third with distinctly sweet. Then it's a stretch of another four lengths back to the inside. Golden Empress. Princess Malia is not being uh, persevered with at this point in time. She's being asked to quicken, but steadily losing ground. In fact, getting ready to go into last with Lyle's Angel moving up on her inside and toward the outside, Fee and Sugar. So the favorites out of the race as they run around the far turn and up to take the lead is Starship Lisa. Here's Alex Gonzalez on Distinctly Sweet to try to get to her from second. Divining is back third. Ill considered is next to stretch of five lengths back to Golden Empress and they're at the top of the stretch and Starship Lisa and Goodell have blown this wide open. Starship Lisa straightens for the drive on a seven length lead and she continues to widen. Second is Distinctly Sweet. Divining is third then Ill considered. Fee and Sugar on the outside trying to get a share, but this is all Starship Lisa. She's a double-digit length winner and still moving off. Starship Lisa, emphatically. Distinctly sweet second, very close for the Miners. Ill-considered outside Fee and Sugar and inside Lyle's Angel. Starship Lisa is much the best in today's sixth race. She draws off a clear-cut winner under Vicente Gudiel. Stephen DeMauro was the winning trainer for owner Sam Nick Stable. Starship Lisa paid $8.40 to win. Today's seventh race is an $8,000 claiming event. Three-year-olds and up, which have not won three races or three-year-olds, will be sprinting five furlongs on the turf course. A full field of 12 will go to the post. No scratches, but one jockey change to note. Luis Castillo picks up the mount on the 10 Maximum Express. From the center, Super See Me begins nicely. Frankie Strigger is showing speed, and Athon moving up from down toward the inside. Super Secret now runs on to take third. Then into the outside, Red Max with Lord Jim toward the inside. Abbasab Brothers is widest of all in front of the trio of Social Request, Massive, and Mutaka. Racing second last on the far outside, Maximum Express, and the early trailer is Mr. 954. They swing around the far turn after 
drilling a quarter of 21 and 2. Athon bids up on the outside of the leader, Super C Me. Frankie's trigger is hard ridden, but he is responding, gaining ground while third. Super Secret will need to go better from there off the top of the stretch. He's three lengths down, and they're into the drive. On the outside, Athon for the lead. Widest of all in Frankie's trigger, Super C Me battles back along the inside, and Super on the inside, it's Super C Me with the lead. Athon not getting back to him yet toward the outside, Frankie's trigger, then Super Secret. Super C Me and Corrales to win it. Athon second, Frankie's trigger third in front of Super Secret and Lord Jim to complete your high five in 57 flat. Super Simi cannot be caught in the seventh race. Gerardo Corrales was aboard for trainer George Navarro and owners JN Racing Stables Inc. Super Simi, your winner of the seventh race. This is a three year old Colt by any given Saturday. Today's eighth race is a maiden special weight for two year old fillies. They'll be sprinting five and a half furlongs on the main track. Scratch the eight, blame the cat. Also, note that Gerardo Corrales will pick up the mount on the one. Chucky, please. They're up. Step slow at the beginning with Zozo striking and caffeine. From the center, Hell of a Night springs out to take the lead. Toward the outside, my dear Venezuela. Then Star Millie, who comes away racing in third. Toward the rail, Chucky Please is now in fourth. Moving up on the outside is Cold Gray Dawn. Then it's a length back, trying to improve from between horses is Princess Dom. Then it's Caffeine. The two at the back, and they're far back, too. The trailers are Awesome Anita and Zozo striking. They went 22-1 and one for a robust opening quarter speed. Hell of a Night, now Rafael Hernandez show the way by a length. My dear Venezuela is second first salute. Moves up on the Inside third toward the outside. Cold Gray Dawn is now fourth. Caffeine is put into the clear and starts to run on a bit from between horses and Princess Dom with a quarter of a mile left to go. Up on the outside, my dear Venezuela just ran up to take the lead. Cold Gray Dawn swings into action on the outside to try to get after the leader second. And then to the out far outside in Caffeine through the final furlong. It's my dear Venezuela on the lead by three. From the outside, Cold Gray Dawn is into second. Back third is Hell of a Night. Then Caffeine to the wire. My dear Venezuela and Harold the winner. Cold Grey Dawn second, Hell of a Night third, Caffeine is fourth in front of Princess Dom. My dear Venezuela gets the victory in the eighth race. She breaks her maiden today under a Misael Jaramillo for trainer Bruna Tesori and owners Orleana Farm. My dear Venezuela paid $15.40 to win. The ninth race is a $10,000 claiming event. Phillies and mares, three-year-olds and up, will be going a mile on the turf course. Scratch the 13, the para. They're up. Slight bobble at the beginning for almost an angel. Quick start toward the inside for Secret Fascination. Almost an Angel is showing speed. Aeolian comes away in the top flight. So too does Mimi's Dream as they run past the finish line for the first time. Passion for Winning is away racing in fifth now. Then down to her inside in racing sixth is Starship Jody. It's a length and a half to Dakota Eyes on her outside, a Fitzing reward. Then back to the inside as Rain It In, a half length in front of Miss Motivation, Defying Gravity second last, and 12th and last is the trailer Bella Promessa. They went 23-4 and four for the opening quarter speed, and they straighten out for their journey up the backstretch. It's Eduardo Nunez and Mimi's Dream who lead it by a length and a quarter. On the outside, Almost an Angel is second, Aeolian third, Secret Fascination, the gray put into the clear to move up from fourth. It's a stretch of three to a fitzing reward in front of Passion for winning. Rain It In starts to move up while wide on the course, Dakota Eyes hemmed in traffic, starts Starship Jody has an inside lane. She'll need room at some point. Three and a half better than Miss Motivation, then Bella Promessa and Defying Gravity. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. They went an opening half mile in 48 and 1. Around the far turn they go. Almost an angel has the lead. Mimi's Dream now trying to get after a secret fascination. Rain it in is next. Starship Jody working between horses, trying to find clear passage. Dakota Eyes on the outside, and they're at the top of the stretch. Secret fascination for a short lead. Almost an angel. Rain it in on the outside, and Starship. Jody now is getting into the clear, and here she comes. Here's Starship Jody at Rain It In. Up the inside in Aeolian. Rain It In shifting in. Starship Jody surging on the outside. Starship Jody.
going away. Rain it in second, Aeoli on third, then Dakota Eyes in Secret Fascination in 138 and 1. Starship Jody gets up to take the ninth race. Paco Lopez was aboard for trainer Angel Rodriguez and owner Frank Calabrese. Starship Jody, she is a seven year old daughter of Repent and she paid $5.80 to win. Today's 10th and final race of the day is a $10,000 maiden claiming event. Three year olds and up will be going a mile on the main track. Scratch the five, Majestic Kingdom. And runners away. From the outside, Tequila's Chance begins nicely. Olivero chirped at Candelazzo to get early position. Tonight, tonight comes away in the top flight. Starship Advocate was in no man's land. Had to slam on the brakes hard there with Talawa, the one that he clipped heels with. Toward the outside, it's Gunther Brothers, who's now fifth. Dr. Cool is on hold while sixth, a length better than the team of Dancing in the Heat and Chillum Court. And West Ride is the trailer. They run around the opening turn and now headed into the backstretch run. And on top, Tequila's Chance by a half a length. Up on the far outside, Gunther Brothers is joining the party tonight, tonight between horses. Candelazzo is only a length behind while racing on the inside fourth. Then Starship Advocate, who's been guided to the outside. To his inside is Talawa, length and a half in front of Chillum Court. Two more to dance in the heat. Dr. Cool is second last, and the trailer is West Ride. They won an opening quarter, 24 and 4. They went a half mile and 49 and 3. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn. And Manuel Cruz and tonight, tonight just took the lead. Gunther Brothers is next and Chillum Court on the outside. Here's Chillum Court 3 wide to contest the issue. Dancing in the heat is also tacking on. He's into fourth and starting to close ground. Meanwhile, tonight, tonight is repelled every challenge. Five sixteenths away. Tonight, tonight has the lead by a length. On the outside and coming on, Dancing in the heat. Chillum Court is next. Talawa's trying to do some work from the back. He's down toward the inside, and they're at the top of the stretch. They went three quarters and one fifteen and two, and tonight, tonight has the lead. Tonight, tonight from Dancing in the Heat, who continues to chip away on the outside. Back third on the inside to Chillum Court with an eighth of a mile left. On top tonight, tonight, drifting but holding firm. On the outside, Dancing in the Heat's going to make a late push. Here's Dancing in the Heat at tonight, 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 tonight in front. Dancing in the Heat second. Talawa ran on for third, then Candelazzo fourth, and Chillum Court in 142 flat. Dancing in the Heat is awarded the victory in the 10th race. Tonight, tonight, crossed the wire first, but was disqualified for interference and drifting out, impeding Dancing in the Heat in the stretch. Therefore, Dancing in the Heat is named the winner. Pedro Monterey Jr. was named the winner rider for trainer Robert Posada and owner Casey E. Seaman. And here's how our exotic wagers paid today. The pick four, four of four, $370.50. The pick five, four of five, twenty-one dollars and twenty cents. Five of five, one thousand nine hundred sixty-eight dollars and ninety-five cents. The rainbow six with the disqualification. The rainbow six was hit. Six of six paid seventy-five thousand ninety-five dollars and fifty-two cents. Congratulations to the single winning ticket holder in today's rainbow six. That's going to do for this week of racing here at Gulfstream Park West. We're now on a two-day break before we return with more live racing on Wednesday. First post for the 10 race program is at 12.35 p.m. In the eighth race on Wednesday, we are going to see the South Florida return of XY Jet. This Colt, a very talented Colt, was narrowly beaten. He was second in the Grade 3 Hutchinson during the championship meet at Gulfstream in January to the very talented Barbados. This Colt then had a bit of a freshening. He was off for quite a few months, but he just returned on September 20th at Monmouth Park, and he won an allowance that day. He should be fitter. Second start off the layoff for trainer George Navarro, and we know he loves it here in South Florida. He's a very exciting horse to watch, and I'm excited to see him make his race return to South Florida here at Gulfstream Park West on Wednesday. Don't miss a second of it. I better see you here when racing resumes on Wednesday. For all of us here at Gulfstream Park West, thanks for watching Thoroughbred Action. I'm Katie Stazak and I'll see you on Wednesday.